Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of the AR shooter game, the quick AR shooter game that we're making, and this one is titled Setup, because we're just basically setting up our plugin, we're setting up our Unity, just making sure everything works, and we're also helping each other in the comment section below, just to fix our bugs, because this this plugin is actually, you know, um, if you're really new to just making games with AR, this plugin is really hard to just integrate and deal with. <laughs> so this is a result we end up with at the end of the episode, it is a fairly simple game, it's just like the camera, I don't know if you can see it properly, it's uh, the camera through our phone, and if you can tell, the very bottom left over here, um, this is the powered by before you, so as you can tell, this is actually using the AR camera that we get from the plugin, which eventually will lead us to um, actually uh, tracking objects. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so let's get right into it, and um, this episode is going to be all about setting up the project, setting up the plugin, and also building to the phone. If you watch the introduction to AR, which I've did something, um, I know, at the early of this week, well, uh, it's going to be pretty, pretty similar. However, we are also going to build on the phone, and um, you might run into some problems, as I've ran into some problems while I was trying to build it in the first place. And also the fact that you have to run the 32-bit version of the Unity editor if you're um, if you're using Windows, not for Mac though. So, um, like I said just a second ago, the first thing you need to make sure is if you're on Windows 64-bit, you're gonna have to swap to Unity 32-bits, which you can find on Google by just typing in Unity 32-bit. The first thing is over here, and you're gonna be grabbing two things here. Um, you're gonna be grabbing the Unity 5, well, whatever version it is today go beneath that menu here and get the Unity Editor 32 bits. Once that is done, you're gonna install it, you're gonna just make sure you're running it, like right now I am running Unity 32 bits. But then after that, if you go under File, the Build Settings, you choose Android, and it pretty much just says that Mojul is not there, you're not able to click on Switch Platform like I'm about to do right now, then um, you're actually going to have to do a step more than that. And uh, let me just give you an example. I do not have the iOS module, but for some reason, they, they're going to be like giving you this link to open the download page, and it's going to download something, install something, but it's not going to work for the 32-bit uh, Unity editor, and that's just one of the problems I ran into. So what I've did to fix this problem, if you're not able to actually just get this working, the uh, Switch platform to Android, what you're going to be doing is you're going to go back, back over here on the uh, this page, the Unity Download Archive and you're going to be downloading the Unity installer. With this, you are going to go and double click on it. Then you just go ahead and you just like do the typical Unity installation. You are going to toggle off everything but the Android build support right here. Click on next. And then where it says Unity install folder, you're going to be changing this because for me that's the 64-bit um, version. You're going to be hitting browse then you're going to find your 32-bit version of Unity, which is basically under Program Files 86, and then you're going to find the Unity folder, click on OK, and then just go ahead and install that. This is going to install the Android module, but um, for the 32-bit version of Unity, and here it is. So that's the very first thing you have to do, just make sure you are in a clean project, and you also have the option to switch to the uh, Android platform a clean 32-bit project. The second thing is we are going to head over to Viforia, the plugin we're going to be using, and start just creating our account. So if you have an account, that's perfect, you just go there, you sign in. I already have my account right here, as you can tell I'm logged in. So you just create your account, you sign in, you download the package for Unity, so you go under Download SDK, and you're going to be uh, just accepting to their terms and conditions and once that is completed, you should get a nice package down there. And um, if Unity is open, simply click on it and import. All right, so that being done, we can now just start setting up our project folder a little bit. So over here, as you can tell, they uh, created a plugin folder, a Viforia folder, we're going to be creating our usual stuff, so a artwork folder, a script folder, 
a scene folder and that should be it for now oh, maybe like a prefab folder as well but I don't know if we're gonna be using one in the end having all of these here you're gonna hit control s and let's just say that this is going to be the uh, game screen so this is where the actual logic of the game takes place now inside of our game we don't necessarily want to have a main camera so we're gonna be removing it we're gonna keep the directional light for now and we're gonna go under Vephoria prefabs and drag and drop a cloud not a cloud sorry you're gonna drag and drop the AR camera which at this point might give you a lot of errors but uh, we're gonna find out how to fix all of them in a moment for me nothing really bad happened and uh, that's probably because I haven't pressed on play yet but now as you can tell we have a camera on the scene which doesn't really look like a camera but it is one because you don't have the camera component on it however it is a camera so the next thing we'll be doing is we're just gonna be filling in all the information we need on the right here so the Vephoria behavior the first thing you'll need is a API I'm sorry API a app license key which you can find on their website if you go back here on the Vephoria developer portal then you go under develop and at this point you're gonna be creating a license key. I've already got mine over here, the AR shooter, that's the one I'll be using. If you don't have one, you click on add license key, you select mobile, and uh, you're going to be selecting the license you wish. So right now I'm using the starter for no charge because I'm not really planning on making any mon uh, money on this. That being said and done, you're now going to go back on the license manager and click on your license in which you will be finding your license key. So this really long string of text over here, you're going to be copying this and then put it inside of Unity in this field. So paste. And at this point, um, you should be able to actually see something if you have a webcam plugged in, which I do right now. So I'm going to hit play. And here's my black curtains with my hands. So as you can tell, it's pretty much just streaming my webcam right now. And I can be just pointing it at some places. Alright, so I'll be toggling this off, and uh, right now, in my case, everything worked first try, and that is awesome. But sometimes your camera is not willing to boot, sometimes you can have other errors. If you have those errors, please uh, write them down in the comment section below, or just look at the comment section below if you like have the same errors as other people and they manage to fix it. Maybe bring some solution, but let me just give you a few errors that happened to me in the past. The first one being that uh, my webcam was being used by something else, such as OBS or Skype or uh, malicious software even. If your webcam is being used in something, it can't really be reused. It can't be like using two software at the same time. So you can't be like uh, having a Skype call, a video call with someone on one of your screen and then developing for this on this screen. So your webcam can only be used for one thing. Just note that before you actually boot Unity and you try to launch your game. Uh, in my case, I had to boot Unity first, make sure that it was actually taking my webcam, and then boot my recording software, which sometimes uses my webcam. And it's really messed up, but that is how it works. And um, other errors you might see is the fact that you've launched a Unity editor in 64 bits, and this is not going to work with your webcam. The DLL they have, the DLL before you made for Windows, does not support 64 bit. So if you're just trying to launch this in 64 bit, you're gonna get some errors and you might not understand what they really mean in the console. They might not really be that obvious. But it means basically that you should be swapping back to your 32 bit version of Unity. And um, like I said, if you have any more errors, just put them down there in the comment section below and we'll try to fix them together. Alright, so now the next thing I'd like to do before we actually end this whole setup thing is to build this on the phone. So we're going to go under File, Build Settings, Player Settings. Uh, I actually have a bundle identifier over here, so I'll be saying COM and 3K AR Shooter. And that's pretty much all we need, I believe. So, oh, also let's change it up here. Right. I'm going to do a build and run, call this build, and right now my cell phone is plugged in, my computer, it's in debug mode, the whole uh, building APK setup is pretty much just made, 
and I'm simply going to try and boot it on my phone and I will come back soon guys because I have to actually turn off uh, Unity for a moment then turn back on my, my recording software so you can see my webcam. Alright so we're back here and I'm in a really weird setup where I'm just holding my webcam with my right hand and here is my cell phone with my left hand if I can just uh, find the right... alright there it is. So as you can tell I'm actually just showing, that's my application by the way, just booted straight up to the application and then I removed the cord but um, as you can tell right here we are simply seeing the camera, that's the only thing we see, we can just see the camera, it's the same thing in the back that's all it does as for now and as you can tell down here we have the powered by Vuforia, now that's really hard to see but still as you can tell this is now what we see in the game and it is pretty normal well at least we know that it works and we're actually just you know we're working with this and that is awesome that being said we're pretty much ready to start developing the mechanics of the game guys so um, if everything works perfectly fine just pass to the next video and if it doesn't make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below and we'll try to just help each other and like try to debug that thing because it's fairly new and uh, these kind of technology they might require a little bit of time before we we master them basically Alright guys, so please leave a like if you did enjoy the video, if you learned something, that'd be great. If you have any comment or question, like I said again, uh, just leave them in the comment section below. If you want to help the channel out a bit, you can go on the Patreon, check out the rewards there and also pledge. That would be amazing. Other than that, please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next episode.